Hello there, I am Lord of Best, and welcome to Tor of Vault 88. A couple of notes about my build. I've gone for a very heavily leaning, militarized Minutemen build. What does this mean? Well, this means that functionally within my network of settlements, Vault 88 has been designed to be the logistical command center for all Minutemen operations in the South Quadrant here, as well as keeping an eye on those pesky gunners over in Quincy. So the first thing to notice is our patrol of Minutemen heading out in the morning. Let's go and see what's out and about. Hello, sir. Very cool. So, welcome to Vault 88. So the first thing to bear in mind about Vault 88, well, every settler, of which there are 87 and the 88 system of the vault, has their own schedule. Let's trade some things. What this means is you will have different people on shift during the day than you will during the night. Some people work full time as well. As you can see, the entrance area remains largely unchanged from the vanilla build of the game. And of course, we do have the security office again, largely unchanged, but uh, occasionally having some Minutemen I mean, say hi. So, let's take a look at the vault atrium. Welcome. So, five stories high in total. We'll do a speed tour of the ground floor because most of it is utility access pathways to the other areas of the vault. Now, back when I was playing this on the Xbox, I did open up the other areas of the vault, but I have to be honest, I was rather disappointed by the fact that the, the walls did not line up with the vault pieces provided. So forced to just make intermittent bits of vault connected by cave, it's very odd. So for now this area is the main vault area, As you can see the ground floor is largely just utility access. I will open it off at some stage but for now I'm just enjoying having a frankly fully functioning vault with one entrance, one exit. I don't like that you get attacked from different areas when you open up different parts of the vault. Not to say we're not prepared for it, it's just a minor nuisance. In here we have utility access to the exterior portions of the vault. Again, 
just for doing bits and bobs, connecting power, whatever we need. Utility locker room. Again, doorways to the other sections. Not a great deal on the ground floor, as you can see. So, two major rooms worthy of note, though. Firstly, we have the robot workshop. Oh yeah. I have a confession. This room was the last room that I decorated. I didn't really know what to do with it. I knew I needed to have somewhere to build robots, so... For any of those who are wondering, the ability to build robots comes from the Automatron DLC, not from the vault -Tec. Lovely, so that's the robot workshop on the other side of the atrium. We have the Minuteman briefing room. So, the patrol that we saw heading out earlier would have come from this room after being briefed on their mission. And collecting their gear. Hi, how are you? Very well, thank you. Pretty cool. So let's go up to the first floor, this is where things begin to get interesting. So I mentioned in the entrance hall that the main purpose of Vault 88 is to act as a Minuteman command center, handling logistics and operations in the south of the Commonwealth. So welcome to the command room. Currently we have the day shift working. Side of the room is the night shift. Yes. Pretty cool. So moving further along, we have the security office for the vault. Most of the time this room is pretty much empty as everyone goes out on patrol.
So moving over to the other side of the first floor, we have the storage depot. In this room, provisioners will come and drop things off, pick things up, taking them to different settlements. They'll also rest in this area, in between journeys between the villages. In here, of course, we have the main depot. Nuka World section, storing things retrieved from Nuka World. Vault gear section. And general resources. Food crates, water crates. Everything in between. Very, very cool. Now, the storage depot connects directly with the hydroponics bay. So once food and water have been created, they can instantly be stored. Never thought I'd be an honest and good Over here we have our atmospheric water generator. I haven't planted them yet, but um, in here will be some mute fruits and a couple of Mr. Handys working on it. Usually there's a bloke here, uh, well, overseeing the operation, but uh, I think he must be on lunch at the moment. So welcome to the second floor. Oh, he is on lunch. Look, he's coming back now. Awesome. So let's take a look at the cafeteria. This is probably the main break room, I would say, of Vault 88. Excuse me. Looking to buy? I'll take a look, sure. Great. Wonderful. So we can buy donuts and all manner of provisions from here. Very, very cool. I have to say I am a bit of a fan of this room. Got our soda machine over here. to the first bedroom. This we should be quiet in here. Some people are sleeping for their night shifts. So, a bit of a story behind this room. I was doing a lot of different settlement builds for many years, um, and never really 
uh, made them livable, if you know what I mean. And then one of my friends, Glockenspiel as it were, actually did point out that uh, occasionally my settlers may need to take a shit, as this gentleman just seems to have done. So welcome to the Vault 88 bathrooms. To appease Glockenspiel, I made the toilets and the sinks out of gold. So that taking, taking that dump would feel just too good. So yeah, welcome to a functional bathroom. Semi-functional shower systems. <laughs> this is the only settlement where I bothered to do this, but um, honestly I'm pretty glad that I have actually, I do think it adds a little something. And settlers will come in here and, and sometimes come to the rooms. So. Awesome, there we go, see? We're on patrol. Sometimes you gotta lighten the load. Wonderful, so let's head back on over to this side. So remember we were at hydroponics. Now that our man's come back from lunch, you can see. Now hard at work. Awesome. So let's head up to the third floor. Is this the third or the fourth? I think it's the fourth floor actually, forgive me. So over here we have the workshop. On this side we have all of the armour related workbenches that you may expect, as well as some that are from different mods, so you may not expect them. And over on this side, all of the weapons related workbenches as well. Yeah. Munition supply station where you can make ammunition. This is delicious. Very, very cool. So what is the main treat of this floor? Well, welcome to the gymnasium. Oh, it seems a little empty at the moment. Usually it's very, very packed. Over here we have some punching bags. Very occasionally our Minutemen will actually hit. And I mean very occasionally. I've seen it happen twice. Only twice. Huh? <laughs> we have our personal trainer. Whoa. You can see he can phase shift through dimensions to uh, better train you. Over here, sometimes we have two Minutemen having a boxing match. We may catch them later, maybe not. That is indeed a working clock. It's set to in-game time. Over here we come to another bedroom, second main barrack room of the vault. Yes. Mm. 
General. It's like the evening workers are beginning now, and the night shift will sort shortly be taking over. Over here we have the shopping center. So from here you can buy armor, clothes, weapons, junk, whatever you need. It's also a very small firing range over here. different bits and bobs, lots and lots of goodies. Cool. Oh, that was the fourth floor. See everyone going about their days, doing their bits and bobs, according to their schedules. So let's move up to the top floor where we have the overseer's office and quarters. Let's have I a wonder how that. high the vault numbers go. Uh, in this day and age. And as a result, I feel like a lot of the So strange that, having uh, are so people about. Are, are disposable. I mean, you know, oh, I don't care find it strange having you about to. Streams, it's like, will it stand the test of time? And of course, the overseer's bedroom. Wonderful. So, coming out of this exit, we move over to this side. Where well, we have Vault Observation and Spec Ops Vault Headquarters. So again, another Minuteman office here. On my desk here. Hello, sir. Huh? General. Afternoon. And my desk. From here, I can write out schedules for the different settlers, altering their shift patterns, and dispatch them to groups such as scavengers, guards, etc. Or, of course, I can do it one by one. We also have our surveillance systems. So, from here, we can actually monitor, well, only two other settlements that I've got at the moment. Uh, yes. So I've only put cameras at those two, but you can view them remotely from the interior of the vault. It's very, very cool, actually. Hey, so yeah, this is the Spec Ops Command and Vault Observation Center. Very nice, very juicy. So stepping back on over to the other side, we have the Gentleman's Bar. Now this only opens in the evenings and at night. Anybody need help with anything? General. Of course, people can still come here, yes, hello, and use the slot machines. The Minutemen in particular seem to like using these. Or if it gives any uh, caps to the bolt actually when settlers use it. I'll have to look into that. Yeah, very cool. I have to say, I absolutely love the wallpaper of this room. I don't know why. It feels very warm. Cozy. Super. So, we also have a barber shop on the top floor. Of course, we are hitting the evening and night now, so many of the various settlers are off 
for the day. But as you can see, got some wigs either side to demonstrate the kind of haircuts that you can achieve. Awesome. So, lastly we come to my quarters. Come to my desk over here, overlooking the vault directly opposite the overseer. From here you can look down and in the mornings see the patrol heading off, which I've got to say I'm a huge fan yes. of. Sir, you are in my room and I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I mean to do that for a while. I need to put um, Kellogg's pistol on my airship settlement, which I finished recently. Do let me know in the comments if you would like to see that one. I've got to be honest, it is my personal favourite. But yeah, that, I have to say, is Vault 88. So, we'll just take one more quick speed walk through the different rooms so you can see the settlers going about at the different times of day. Be a queue for the bathroom, look. So regrettably the lights don't change based on the time of day, but thanks to the Settlement Objects Expanded mod, I have this very nice Vault 76 billboard that does change over. You can actually adjust the settings. And I have 6 to 6. Yeah. Hello, sir. 
Very shortly the shifts will be changing over. Super. Well, I do hope you enjoyed my semi-flash tour of Vault 88. As you can imagine, it did take a little bit of time. But, uh, so I think I'm pleased with the result. This is the first time I've ever completed the Vault Tech DLC. Um, I think it's largely down to I, I really like this space. It feels very spacious in the main atrium, um, but also gives a lot of room to different rooms, different specialization. Here we go, nice shift coming in. bits and pieces. Well, as you can imagine, a lot of what you've seen has been a mixture of different mods and various bits and bobs from the Creation Club as well. If you do want me to give a bit of a mod list, do just ask where's X, Y and Z from in the comments and I will reply. Uh, over time I will come up with a complete load order list if people do want to see more content but for the time being. That was Vault 88. Do let me know if you have any other questions. I have an airship settlement, a very nice submarine settlement, and a whole host of other bits and pieces as well. So do leave a note in the comments if you want to see those as well. Otherwise, I urge you to subscribe to our shit, like all of our shit. It does motivate us to do a bit more content. Thank you very much for watching.